Hello, my name is Thea Newman. I am a theoretical biophysicist and I'd like to tell you about a hypothesis I've been working on to explain many of the puzzling features of the COVID-19 pandemic. In the description below this video, you'll find a link to a much longer presentation that goes through all of the ideas that I'll talk about here, as well as a link to a scientific report that describes this work. And here is some of that puzzling data, this from worldometers.info. We see mortality data in the United Kingdom and the United States, and I'd like to draw your attention to the very slow decline in the epidemic in both countries. And indeed, we see that very slow decline in many other countries. Another puzzling feature are the great differences in mortality rates from one part of the world to another. Very high rates in Western Europe more than an order of magnitude less in Eastern Europe, lower still in Japan, which is adjacent to the original epicenter of the epidemic in Wuhan, China. High rates in the US, but within the United States, nearly two orders of magnitude difference in mortality rates from state to state. Those enormous differences in mortality rates from one geographical region to another imply to me that there may be some form of long-distance interaction between infected and susceptible populations. Therefore, the hypothesis I'm proposing is that there is an influence over long distances whereby infected populations can immunologically precondition uninfected populations elsewhere. One example of such a long-range influence would be viral detritus dead virus or fragments of virus that are emitted by infected individuals and travel long distances on global air currents. I estimate in the paper that if one million people are infected with COVID-19, then on average each of us would inhale about 1,000 viral fragments per day. Whilst not in any way dangerous, the hypothesis is that this low-level contact with the SARS-CoV-2 virus provides us with immunological preconditioning, making it less likely for us to contract the disease on exposure to live virus. Viral detritus is one example of this long-range influence, which I call more generally a preconditioning field. In the paper, I work through the mathematics of introducing the preconditioning field into epidemic models and show that indeed it can explain many features of the pandemic. The viral detritus example of a preconditioning field can be tested by studying global air current data from the period January to June 2020. Were those regions of the world downstream of epidemic hotspots experiencing less severe forms of the epidemic? More generally, the preconditioning field idea gets us to think about population levels of immunological connection are we all perhaps more connected than we might currently think in terms of our immune systems? In the paper, I explore some evolutionary arguments that might support that. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found this interesting. And please do check out the longer presentation and the paper. Goodbye.